Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we'll be looking at how to install and configure Jenkins service uh, and security using HTTPS protocol that is SSL certificate. Okay, so by default, like uh, whatever Jenkins we uh, try to install using the RPM package that is available in the system, it installs our Jenkins service. Uh, on a port uh, 8080 which is not secure like it doesn't uh, support the HTTPS protocol okay so here we'll try to configure our uh, Jenkins service uh, using SSL certificates and uh, make it uh, secure and try to communicate it with uh, HTTPS protocol okay so I'm working on Vetra 35 workstation uh, okay so we will see like how we can install Jenkins and uh, secure it using the uh, SSL certificates we will uh, that we will try to generate over here okay so as a first step uh, we need to make sure uh, like in order to install Jenkins uh, from uh, the repository which provides the RPM package we need to have that repository configured on our system okay so for that we need to first configure the repository that is Jenkins repo okay so let me start up my virtual machines Jenkins control Okay, so this is my Jenkins control server on which we are going to install our Jenkins service and try to secure it. Okay, so as a first step, as I mentioned, like we need to make sure that repository is available. So you can get that repository for the following uh, repo URL. Okay. And this is going to be saved into yumrepos jenkins.repo file. Okay. So if you want to look at this, you can take a look at this file. So which is uh, Jenkins URL, uh, base URL which provides the RPM package. Okay. And also in order to upgrade our Jenkins uh, uh, version, like uh, from uh, whichever is provided from this repo, we need to make sure like the GPG key is already uh, also imported into the RPM key database so that uh, it doesn't uh, pop up when uh, warning that the key is not uh, uh, authenticated or trusted okay so this way like we can install that uh, uh, jpg key uh, which is provided for that Jenkins repo okay so once that is done we need to we, uh, uh, we can install our Jenkins service using that repo okay so let us go into our next step the next step is uh, to install the jdk okay so jenkins requires jdk 8 or jdk 11 to be installed which is required for jenkins service to be running okay so jenkins is a purely uh, a java based tool uh, like uh, it runs on a uh, uh, like java server like uh, uh, java container i can say so for that purpose we need to make sure like we have the java uh, JDK tools available for the Jenkins service to start up properly. Okay, so we can install the Open JDK package that is available uh, from the Fedora system. RPM packages. So this is going to install your Fedora uh, JDK package. So right now, like it shows, like a uh, uh, new version of uh, JDK is available that is 14. But I'm not going to install this one because I already have this package. Uh, with another version like lower version already installed on my machine okay so let me show you so I have 11.0.12 uh, of this open JDK already installed on my machine and you can verify the Java version using Java version so it shows the open JDK version that is currently installed on your system so in case you have this version already available there is no need to install this um, JDK specifically so you can ignore this step so now coming to the step 3 like uh, we have configured the repo so we can now install the Jenkins service so I already have this installed but I'll show you so we have install Jenkins so it is going to install our Jenkins package uh, if you look at this package so 
so it is going to install uh, the configuration file set etc okay and uh, the bin directory contains the Jenkins startup uh, binary uh, which is going to be called using uh, which is going to be initiated using this service okay so this is how uh, like uh, this, uh, the Jenkins installation uh, installs a re uh, required uh, files on the server and this as you can see the Jenkins var this is the var that is going to be uh, executed or uh, run in a container or a Java container so uh, which is going to be provided by the JDK okay so so this is the uh, package structure that gets installed on your server okay so let us go into our next step uh, so we have installed Jenkins but Jenkins doesn't uh, create the service uh, service file so we need to reload the daemon uh, using the steps system city uh, re reload daemon and this is going to create the service file which you can start okay so in our next step we are going to enable and uh, start up the Jenkins service okay so if you go and see sudo system CTL status Jenkins service so it is currently loaded but it is not started so we can start up the service so, but I'm not going to start the service as of now uh, as we need to configure the Jenkins uh, for SSL so we'll go and uh, check uh, look at the uh, steps that we need to carry out to secure our Jenkins service so this is step 5 so if this is the first time that you are uh, trying to install the Jenkins like you can start the service and try to log in on the, uh, uh, using this URL uh, basically the host name is going to be the host name of your server or local host you can put it and try to access it on the port 8080 uh, which is non-secure HTTPS port on which the Jenkins service communicates but the first time when you try to log in it will ask for uh, uh, providing the initial admin password which you can get it from the following file so you need to cat this file to get the password and uh, place it in the uh, field uh, where it uh, asks for the initial admin password then like you can config like install the suggested plugins or the required plugins whatever is required for you and then use Jenkins services up and running but this is not secure right now okay so you can carry out this step uh, if it is not already uh, like carried out for you uh, so you can just make sure like you get this password from this file and copy it and configure your Jenkins service so let us go into our next step that is step 6 generate SSL certificates and convert it into a JKS key store okay so so in order to secure uh, the Jenkins service we need to create a JKS key store a key store uh, which consists of a private key and certificate okay so uh, we need to place the private key and certificate into the key store and provide it to, it to the Jenkins service so here we are going to generate these using the OpenSSL command okay so as a first command like we are going to uh, what uh, I have tried to do is we, uh, we have generated a PEM file and a certificate.pem file which is basically a key certificate and server certificate using this OpenSSL command and uh, the key is a uh, type of RSA with 2048 bit so this is going to generate uh, basically two files the certificate.pem and key.pem once those two files are available we are going to package it into uh, the p12 file that is using this command okay open ssl pkc is 12 input key input certificate and export uh, it out into the certificate of p12 file so once we have the certificate.p12 file so this is how the uh, our directory structure looks wherein we have the certificate.pem file key.pem key file which was generated initially in the first step then we converted then we packaged them into the key p12 file and from there we are going to uh, with this key tool command we are going to convert that j uh, uh, p12 file into the jks okay so we are going to take that source certificate.p12 file source type and convert it into a destination store of type jks with type jks key store 
okay so this is how like we can generate the key store uh, jk's key store and once that is available we need uh, we can copy it into the varlib jenkins which is the home directory uh, default home directory for the jenkins service okay so once we copy it into this uh, varlib jenkins location So let me log in as root. Okay. So here, like, uh, so this is the file that I have copied, and uh, you make sure like it is owned by Jenkins uh, uh, user and group, and. Uh, uh, and it is uh, part of this folder structure okay uh, because otherwise it won't uh, like uh, by default it uh, gets created with root user because by default is it is going to be uh, with root user uh, with these commands but we need to make sure like it is um, owned by Jenkins Jenkins uh, user and group uh, while we copy into this location okay so now we have our jks key store ready now how we can configure our jenkins service to make sure like it is communicating on ssl protocol and port okay so this is how we can do it so as i said like initially when we install and reload the daemon there is a jenkins service that gets uh, created at this following location so let me get uh, view that file for you so here like by default so as you can see the jenkins service runs with the user jenkins and group jenkins and is work, working directory or Jenkins home directory is valid Jenkins okay and by default like uh, if you go down uh, further so it listens on port 8080 okay so it listens on port 8080 but now we are going to configure it on HTTPS port so we are going to use this or uh, uncomment this line and change the port number to 8443 and provide the Jenkins key store, the Jenkins HTTPS key store location and the key store password that we provide when we are creating the key store. Okay, so this is a these are the three basic things that we need to configure. And so if you want to completely disable the non HTTPS port, uh, you can just mention minus one over here in place of 8080 so that it does not communicate on the HTTP protocol. So these are the uh, changes we need to carry out to make sure our HTTPS service is running on port 8 uh, HTTPS protocol uh, with whatever port we are going to mention okay so so we need to edit this file okay so we need to edit this file uh, this required details so right now I am not disabling the 8080 but for production use like we can disable the port 8080 uh, for security uh, concerns okay so now uh, we have uh, edited our service file for the service file to be take, uh, taken into effect we need to reload the daemon okay so this is how we, we are going to reload the daemon and restart uh, then we can start up the service so uh, if you have already Jenkins started on port 8080 you can just uh, go ahead and restart the service using this command and it will uh, take the HTTPS uh, changes into effect uh, with this like uh, your Jenkins service is now going to be uh, served on HTTPS protocol with 8443 okay so let me start up my service okay now you can see this Jenkins service is up so let me check the status so Jenkins service is running so I can try to access 
my Jenkins service on HTTPS protocol with 8443 port. Okay, so you can try to log in with the, the admin uh, user that you will uh, set up during the initial first login. Okay, so now like we are here, like we are communicating on HTTPS protocol. Uh, though I am using the self signed certificate which is not secure but this is how like you can carry out the SSL setup for your Jenkins servers and uh, like if you have a valid certificate that is issued by a certificate authority like Verizon or Semantic or Digi DigiCert you can get the certificate key store uh, get the certificate and convert it into a key store uh, like uh, and place it over here uh, in whatever location we have shown so that uh, you can communicate it with a valid uh, SSL certificate for your Jenkins server. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And uh, uh, just for your reference, like uh, for every uh, YouTube video that I'm creating, uh, like I'm also placing a blog link, uh, blog reference, which uh, with the same steps that we have shown uh, in this video, so that it, it will be easy for you to uh, look at the steps that we have carried out in this video. and. Uh, uh, do it in your uh, environment okay so yeah so that is all uh, for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you all uh, thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day